Welcome to another Product Spotlight. I'm John, and today we're going to look at a couple models from Exact Rail. Let's head over to the workbench and take a look. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. These are Exact Rail 3483 hoppers. They come from Exact Rail's Platinum line. You can find them on Exact Rail's website for $48.99. They have these in several different road names with different road numbers, as well as an undecorated kit. And Exact Rail also offers a special program where if you want to buy a whole bunch of these, you know, for a unit train, for example, you can get discounts for quantities. So I think that's pretty cool because a lot of people would have something like this for a unit train. They come with two different coal loads. The coal loads are also sold separately. Probably your best bet would be to go to Exact Rail's website and see if they have the one you're looking for. Since I have two here, we'll look at each one separately. I do want to mention that I examined the paint and markings with my magnifying visor on and found it to be perfect as usual. Uh, from Exact Rail. This is what we've come to expect. This is what I've come to expect, and it seems to me like they never miss that mark. A close look at the brake end reveals all kinds of freestanding details from the brake wheel to the little grabs that make up the ladders here, the platform, the chain that goes down. I mean, this is a really detailed model. And it's hard to see from this angle. Maybe I'll turn it and we'll try to look from the other angle, but there's all kinds of detail buried back in here behind all the uh, exterior detail. And then something else that's worth mentioning, and I think they do a great service to the modelers for doing this. This is a KD number 158 coupler, comes with it. So that's something a lot of people like to add because a lot of stuff doesn't come with KD couplers and that's kind of the standard also, you can see, looking at this from this angle, that it has a very thin wire uncoupling lever. So, very good. I'm going to turn it slightly so we can try to pick out the detail behind all that other stuff. So, from this angle, you can see there's also air hose detail. And then, back in here is what I'm talking about. There's a reservoir, there's all kinds of piping. And then this little piece back here, I think it's called a triple valve. It's a model that you don't have to do anything to. I mean, other than maybe weathering it. So, very impressive. Thought I'd show you this side as well, since we're going all the way around the car. A brief look at the A end shows all the same details, from the thin wire uncoupling lever to the air hose, KD-158 coupler. And then, of course, at the A end, you don't have all that brake detail. That's how these cars are. And I took the coal loads out of these cars for the purposes of this spotlight because I wanted to show you the interior detail. And you can see that there's bracing here. So that's pretty cool. That's something that they didn't really have to put in. But if you run these empty, guess what? That's what the car would look like with no load in it. So the bracing is an important detail. And on the topic of the coal loads, this is what you get with the model. There's the heap load, which is this with the three distinct peaks and two distinct valleys, I guess. Or I guess one, two, three, four, if you count the ends. And then you have the flood style, which is in the back here, which is one peak. And the reason why they have these different loads is because different places load coal into these cars different ways. And depending what you model, you may want one or the other. And these are sold separately on Exact Rail's website as well for $3.99 a piece. Like I said before though, every single one of these cars comes with both of these loads. So it's a nice thing, I think, that they've included both. Usually when you get any kind of a car like this, it comes with one load and that's all you get. So if your layout depicts a place that you know, for example, loads coal in the heap style, but it comes with, you know, your other car comes with a flood style. Well, you're stuck with that. 
whether it's accurate to your model or not, unless you want to build your own, which is a whole different topic. So I think it's a good thing that they've included both here. Let's take a look at the bottom of the car. This is going to be pretty amazing. I brought both cars into the picture just briefly so that I can show you that these loads just kind of fit right in there. And they're pretty easy to take in and out. I've had cars before where it's a real bit of trouble to try to remove the coal loads. These you can just turn the car over and they drop out. All right, so here's the bottom. And while we're looking at it, I want to point out that these are 100 ton ASF ride control trucks and 36 inch CNC machined metal wheels. You can see here that this is actually a body mounted KD-158. And I wanted to show you this because the discharge gate detail in these models is pretty spectacular. And just all the detail on the bottom. So I want to take a close up of one of these discharge gates to show you what I'm talking about. You might not realize this just from looking at it, but there's about six or eight separately applied parts to make up just one gate. And I'm talking about, I don't know what you call these parts, but I'm going to point them out. This little latch over here, I'm going to call it a latch. It probably isn't a latch. There's another one over here. Those are separately applied parts. The actual door cover is a separately applied part. This rod that goes down is a separately applied part. And all this stuff is put together over basically a a bare piece. So there's a lot going on here and something else to, I guess, notice while we're looking at this is check out the detail here. I think this is part of the brake line detail here. That runs the length of the car. So there's quite a bit to look at underneath and this stuff, a lot of it is visible as the car rolls down the track. So it's pretty cool to see how detailed it is. All right, so I've switched to the second car now, just so you can see the details the same. And something else to notice while we're looking at this is that this additional piece that goes all the way across, which makes this a different type of discharge gate, is probably specific to the prototype. And that's a really cool touch. And then looking into this car as it sits empty, you can see it also has the bracing detail inside there, just like the other car. Taking a look at the AN, you can see the details the same. It has these separately applied thin wire grabs that make up the ladder here. Uncoupling lever, air hose, and KD-158 Kepler. There's a quick side view for you. I didn't have a look at the side of this one yet. The logo looks really good over here. And then this little label over here, also legible with magnification. Exact Rail's website tells me that this particular prototype is accurate for 2014 through the modern day. So this is a pretty new prototype. And taking a quick look here at the brake end, you can see the separately applied brake wheel, brake platform, chain detail, hose, you know, it's all there. All the components for the brake system hidden behind the, the end here. Looks pretty amazing. And here's one last look at the car's side view. I think Exact Rail has really knocked the ball out of the park with this release. There's so much to like about this model. I mean, everything from the complete level of detailing with all those separately applied parts, the choice of both coal loads that come with the model, the fact that you can buy the coal load separately if you want to. There's a lot to like here, and Xactrail, amazing job. I'm looking forward to seeing more, and I'll see you next time.